off his perch. Something's gone wrong on this lap for Jake Dixon. He's obviously had a moment because he's 6.6 .6 seconds down through sector two. Remy Gardner. He could well be the surprise package, couldn't he, of 2021. He's pushing the front there through turn seven was Fernandez. He's just trying just two and a half minutes left. He'll get one more lap in. Oh, that's a bit sloppy. Somebody's got to find something extra special here. There's a very northern European feel to the front row of the grid right now. Two Brits and a, a young man from the Netherlands as well. And then an Aussie and an American, fourth and fifth. Full throttle and full speed at the moment towards pole position. Sam Lowe. Just a couple of moments ago. Here is the Dutchman then now. He's in the final corner. So this might be costly for Marco Bepsecki in particular. Go. Here is the Dutchman then now. He's in the final corner. So this might be costly for Marco Bepsecki in particular. Bench to be behind the screen of that Calex machine. Over the line he comes. Has he done enough for the front row? He has. Brilliant. 50 as a rookie and coming into this class at his age is. Uh, I know that it's. I know it's only qualifying, not race, but it's the sort of speed that the superstars that go all the way have. Normally you know the superstars, I don't like the super, <laughs> but uh, first of all, I'm a little bit angry, a little bit uh, shame for Remy. This, uh... Tenth clear of Ralph Fernandez on his debut, the 20 year old Spaniard, 11 front rows and six poles last year in Moto3, front row ahead of his Moto2 debut tomorrow. Bo Ben Snyder as well on the front row ahead of Betsecki, Roberts, Gardner, Dixon, the Gian Antonio, Navarro and Vietti. A bit further down, some top quality names, Bouliger, Canet, Schrotter, Della Porta, Vier, he had that late tumble at turn 10. Somkiat Chantra came out of Q1. He starts from 16th place ahead of Tom Luti and Tony Arbolino will be disappointed. He's had good pace up till that second qualifying session. Ayagura 19th, Marcos Ramirez down to start 20th, but will he be a non-starter after a big crash in Q1?